receive a fresh anointing this evening. Malam ini engkau akan menerima urapan yang baru. A fresh anointing that is going to fall upon you this evening. Urapan baru yang akan turun atasmu malam ini. A fresh fire from heaven that is going to fall upon you this evening. Api yang baru dari surga akan turun atasmu malam ini. A fresh manna that is going to fall upon you this evening. Mana yang baru akan turun atasmu malam ini. A fresh anointing that is going to strengthen you one more time that is going to fall upon you this evening. Urapan yang baru yang akan menguatkan engkau sekali lagi akan turun You are going to be raised up as a great army, my dear brother, my dear sister. Bahkan bangkit menjadi bala tentara yang besar. God is going to move you to another level this evening. Tuhan akan mengangkat engkau ke satu level lebih tinggi lagi. God is going to refresh your spirit right now in the name of Jesus. Tuhan akan menyegarkan jiwamu sekarang di dalam nama Yesus. Every kind of sicknesses are going to get away from your bodies right now. Semua sakit penyakit akan pergi dari tubuhmu. Every kind of illnesses are getting out right now in the name of Jesus. Tonight is your day of breakthroughs. Malam ini adalah hari Come on, go and possess your blessings, my dear brother. Ambil alih berkatmu, saudaraku. What about the devil that snatched it from you? God is going to give it back to you again. Iblis yang ambil daripada mu Tuhan akan kembalikan. God is going to lift you to another level. Tuhan akan mengangkat engkau ke level yang tinggi. You are going to fly like eagles on high. Kau akan terbang seperti raja wali. You're going to fly like eagles on high. Come on, hallelujah. You're going to fly high. You're going to fly high. You're going to move from glory to glory. You're going to move from strength to strength. You're going to move from power to power. God is going to give you the legs like a deer to run and to go and Possess every blessings that God has bestowed for you. Tuhan akan berikan kau kekuatan untuk berlari. Every kindness, every kindness is leaving you right now. Semua kebaikan akan turun atas. Every barrenness is leaving you right now. Semua kekeringan akan diangkat dari badan. God is restoring you from every kind of depression right now. Tuhan akan memulihkan dari semua depresi. Every kind of confusion is leaving you right now. Semua kebingungan akan pergi. You will never be confused. Confused about your life. Kau tidak akan bingung lagi atas hidupmu. You will never be confused about your family. Kau tidak akan lagi bingung atas keluarga. But God will make give you a clear mind. Kau akan memberikan kepada kamu pikiran yang cerdik of your life. Pengertian yang cerdik dalam hidupmu. A clear spirit that you can walk by walk in the presence of God. Dan roh yang baru yang kau berjalan di dalam hidupmu. God is going to bring you into the heights, my dear brother. Kau akan mengangkat kau ke tempat yang lapar tinggi. What you have never seen, you will see through your spiritual eyes. Apa yang tidak pernah kau lihat Tuhan akan membawa dalam kehidupan rohanimu. What you have not received, you will receive it by another couple of days. Apa yang belum pernah kau terima, kau akan terima dalam beberapa hari. God will bring you to your destiny. Tuhan akan membawa kau kepada tujuan hidupmu. God will bring you to your destiny. Tuhan akan membawa kau kepada tujuan hidupmu. God will bring you to your destiny. Tuhan akan membawa kau kepada tujuan hidupmu. Come on, just give a clap offering unto Jesus. Come on, just give a clap offering unto Jesus. Come on, say Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, everyone together. Semua yang bersatu. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. Terima kasih, Roh Kudus. This evening is going to be a powerful night. Malam ini akan menjadi malam yang penuh kuasa. As few of the brothers who requested, so let me sing the Tamil song. Ada beberapa orang yang minta saya untuk menyanyikan lagu, jadi saya mau nyanyi lagu Tamil. F minor, F minor, F minor. Hallelujah. Okay, this is a very familiar song. Even last time I sang the song. Ini lagu yang terkenal kas. Yang lalu saya menyanyikan juga lagu ini. You know, I produced six albums. Saya sudah memproduksi enam album. Six albums in my Tamil album. Dan saya sudah membuat enam album dalam bahasa Tamil. And my songs are on all the television in India. Dan lagu saya ada di televisi di India. But this song, it says, our God Jesus is greater than anybody else. Lagu ini mengatakan bahwa Tuhan Yesus Allah kita itu lebih besar daripada yang lain. So in Tamil, Amen. Come on, everybody together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Uh, in Tamil it says like this Esu. Dalam bahasa Tamil dikatakan Esu. Esu. Say everyone Esu. Semua katakan Esu. Say Esu. Katakan Esu. 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 And the other word is Kandata lainnya Periyavar. 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 Say Esu. Esu. Periyavar. Periyavar. Come on one more time. Esu. Yesu. Periyava. Periyava. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. That means Jesus is greater than anybody else. Artinya Yesus lebih besar daripada yang lain. Our God Almighty is greater than anybody else. Tuhan Allah kita yang besar itu lebih besar daripada yang lain. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. Come on, say amen. Katakan amen. You see, I have sang in many languages, Indian languages. Dan saya juga nyanyikan di beberapa bahasa lain juga bahasa I'm India. Saya Tamil, Hindi, Kannada, Telugu, all the Indian languages. Lagu uh, ini nyanyikan di lagu bahasa Tamil, bahasa Hindi. Tonight we are going to sing, in, sing. Tonight we are going to sing in bahasa. Dan malam ini kita akan nyanyikan dalam bahasa Indonesia. Come on, say Hallelujah. Katakan Hallelujah. So what do you say for Yesu Periyavar? Jesus is greater. Yesus lebih besar. Yesus terbesar. 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 Or Yesus besar. Yesus Yesus besar Yesus terbesar Yesus terbesar Correct? Okay we got it I got the way <laughs> Yesus I... Yesus terbesar Yesus terbesar Yes Correct Okay very good Amen Shall we sing it together Kita nyanyi bersama-sama I want the rhythm F minor F minor mm. One, uh, you know that beat Yeah. Yes. Woo. Come on, everyone, together. Ali, sama, sama. I want the tambourine dancers come come. Ayo penari maju ke depan. Come come in the front. Penari penari maju. Come come fast. Ayo you know, cepat maju penari. The time, the time is going very fast. Waktunya berjalan cepat. Come on hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have a flag you can also wave the flag we can celebrate the name of Jesus. Kalau ada punya bendera kita bisa merayakan nama Yesus. If any of your youths you want to come and join here you can come and dance with us. Yang muda masuk ke depan. Hallelujah. Ayo come, yang muda. Come forward, come forward. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Superiaba. Come everyone. Superiaba.
Tuhan kita lebih besar daripada yang lain. Our God is greater than Abraham. Dia lebih besar daripada Abraham. Our God is greater than Jacob. Dia lebih besar daripada Yakub. Our God is greater than Isaac. Dia lebih besar daripada Isa. Our God is greater than David. Dia lebih besar daripada Daud. Our God is greater than Solomon. Tuhan kita lebih besar daripada Solomon. Our God is greater than Peter. Tuhan kita lebih besar daripada Peter. Our God is greater than Paul. Dia lebih besar daripada Paulus. Our God is greater than Stephen. Dia lebih besar daripada Stephen. Our God is greater than anybody else in this world. Dia lebih besar daripada yang lain. Come on, say next to your neighbor, we serve a great God. Katakan kanan kiri kita melayani Tuhan yang besar. Come on, say Amen. Katakan Amen. We serve a powerful God. Kita beribadah kepada Tuhan yang berkuasa. Berkuasa. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Please be seated in the presence of God. Duduk dalam hadirat Tuhan. It's so powerful. Sangat kuat sekali. It's so energetic. Sangat berenergi. So much of energy in this place. Ada banyak energi di tempat ini. So much of God's anointing that has been flowing in this place. Banyak uraban Tuhan yang mengalir di sini. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. The worship team, please. Can you worship team? Can you please come here? Worship team. Tim musik, tim penyembahan, tetap di sini. I want you to stand here. Berdiri di depan. Tim worship berdiri di depan. I want you to just stand here. Worship team, I want you to stand here. Tim worship berdiri di depan, berbaris di sini. I feel very strongly in Cornerstone Bali Church. Saya merasa dengan kuat di gereja Cornerstone Bali. This worship team in this church is bringing a universal breakthrough. Tim penyembahan ini membawa terobosan yang sangat universal. It's a nationwide breakthrough worship anointing that God has placed upon this team. Penyembahan yang sangat besar, yang universal, yang sangat yang luas sekali kepada bangsa. I could feel the power and the presence of God even as they sing, as they play the instruments, as they worship the Lord. Saya merasakan hadirat Tuhan yang kuat ketika mereka bernyanyi, mereka memainkan musik dan menyembah Tuhan. Because of this worship team, the walls of Bali is going to come down. Karena di musik ini, tembok-tembok di Bali akan rubuh. Every kind of demonic powers are going to die down because of this worship team. Semua kuasa kegelapan akan terikat oleh tim penyembahan ini. Let me tell you, each and every one of you, you are a powerful tool in the presence of God. Semua satu bersatu ingat bahwa engkau adalah Tuhan yang sangat kuat. Don't ever think low of about yourself. Jangan pernah berpikir negatif akan dirimu. Each and every one, you are so powerful. Setiap orang itu sangat kuat. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. Come on, say amen. Katakan amen. Where is the dance, the tambourine dance team? Where they? Penari tamborin tadi di mana? They went. Okay, no problem. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. I want everyone to stretch your hand towards them. Semua angkat tangan atas untuk mereka. Mari bangkit berdiri. As a church, angkat tangan we are going to pray mereka. right now. Sebagai gereja Tuhan kita akan berdoa As untuk mereka church, sekarang. As a church, we are going to pray for a double portion of God's anointing upon them. Malam ini kita berdoa untuk mereka untuk dua bagian urapan Tuhan. Come on, I want to receive a powerful revelation of worship into your spirit. Aku mau engkau menerima pewahyuan yang kuat dalam rohmu. A powerful revelation of God. You know, you could feel it's not in Bali, it's not in it's not in Cornerstone, but 
that you are in heavenly realm that you're worshiping like you know that kind of feel and revelation that you need to have in your spirit rasakan ini di dalam rohmu god tidak hanya menerima pewayuan ini di dalam tempat ini gerejamu atau di konston saja tapi rasakan itu di alam roh The spirit of the Lord is telling me to tell you. Roh Kudus berbicara. When you start worshiping the Lord, ketika engkau mulai menyembah Tuhan, you're opening up the gates of heaven. Engkau sedang membuka pintu surga. You're commanding the angels to come down. Engkau sedang memerintah malaikat untuk datang turun. You're commanding the four, you know, the 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 supreme angels to come down and to bestow and take over the worship in this place. Engkau sedang ketika engkau menyembah, engkau sedang mengundang malaikat-malaikat tertinggi untuk datang bersama di tempat ini dan menyembah Tuhan. And when you're worshiping the Lord, ketika engkau menyembah Tuhan, you're closing down the doors of the hell. Ketika engkau menyembah, engkau sedang menutup pintu neraka. When you're worshiping the Lord. Ketika engkau menyembah Tuhan, you come against the principalities of darkness. Engkau sedang menyerang kuasa-kuasa kegelapan. When you worshiping the Lord, ketika engkau menyembah Tuhan, you come against every kind of sicknesses and illnesses. Engkau sedang berperang melawan semua penyakit dan kelemahan tubuh. It is not an earthly kind of worship and singing, my dear brother. Ini bukan penyembahan yang duniawi. But it's going to be in heavenly heard voice. Tetapi ini adalah penyembahan yang datang dari surga. Voice. Suaranya dari surga. A heavenly sound. Suara dari surga. A heavenly sound. Suara surga. A heavenly sound. Suara surga. Come on in Jesus name. Ya di dalam nama Yesus. Bakalaba Let me take a few minutes. I want to just lay my hand Beberapa menit saya akan menumpangkan tangan. I want to release that worship anointing in Jesus name. Terima. Fas. Oh my God, shut the door, but Father in the name of Jesus. Apa dalam nama Yesus? In the name of Jesus. Dalam nama Yesus. Touch. Sama. Father in the name of Jesus. Apa dalam nama Yesus? Touch. Sama. Father in the name of Jesus. Apa dalam nama Yesus? Aka papa karaba kashata la doraba. Come on, receive. Rima. She karaba kashe. Yes, tune his hands, oh God. Tune his hands. Tune. Ada nada nada dalam dalam tangannya. Tune his hands. Ini adalah as he tunes as he tunes the guitar when he plays. Ada Nada nada gitar ketika dia bermain. I pray that Lord you will tune his hands and fingers. Tuhan, aku menjamah tangan ini. Let the divine music come out from his hands, O God. Biarlah musik surgawi itu. Come on, my dear brother, you have given up certain things and you have come. And God is going to use you in a powerful way. You're going to move on to another level. You're going to also sing unto God. Sekarang kau akan menyanyikan yang lebih mulia dari pada yang Father in the name of Jesus right now. Come on, I pray right now in Jesus' name. Father, right now in the name of Jesus. Sekarang di dalam nama Yesus. I pray for your powerful anointing. Aku pada untuk urapan mulia Come on, sister. Come on, receive it right now. Terima sekarang. You have given up certain. Things in your life. Kau sudah menyerah dalam banyak hal dalam hidupmu. You have given first priority and preference for the Holy Spirit, for worship and God. Kau sudah men menyerahkan prioritas kepada Tuhan. God is going to use you powerfully to come out with many, many, many beautiful songs and music that can glorify the name of Jesus. Tuhan akan memakai engkau untuk memainkan musik-musik yang memuliakan nama Tuhan. I pray for a fresh anointing. Aku berdoa untuk urapan yang baru. I want you to just honor God more than anything else. Hormati Tuhan lebih lagi. Koma shanda la bodora balaba. Father in the name of Jesus. Apa dalam nama Yesus? I pray for the anointing. Aku berdoa That you have been equipping her, you have been training her, you have been equipping her, you have been making her to become a beautiful instrument. Sometimes she could not meet the needs, but still, that God, you have mercy that you have been preparing right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the power of God come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, your tongue carries a powerful anointing.
Lidamu membawa kuasa Your mouth kuat. carries a powerful anointing. Lidamu membawa kuasa You have a clean kuat. heart and a clean spirit. Kau memiliki hati dan When you stand kuat. on the stage, Ketika kau berdiri you di will be an example to others in the worship team. Kau menjadi teladan bagi tim worship. You'll be an example, my dear sister. Kau menjadi teladan. You'll break down every barriers, every satanic bondages. Kau yang mematahkan Just semua right now in Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for a pastor. I pray for a powerful anointing. It is not only in the city of Bali, my dear pastor. It is not only Indonesia. But you are going to reach out to the Asian countries. You are going to reach out to the African countries. You are going to reach out to the European countries. You are going to cross over to the other side. Very soon, very soon, very soon. God is going to carry you to other places. You have given up certain things for God. You never yielded for the things of the world. Your life is completely for the ministry. And there is a prophetic anointing in your worship. Each and every one you utter in the worship. That God listens. And God will answer your, answer your prayers. And God is going to extend the ministry borders of yours. Or even in this nation. And also apart from in this nation to the other nations. Father in the name of Jesus. There's a Deborah anointing upon you. There's a Deborah anointing. Deborah carried two anointing. One was a prophetic anointing. Another one was she was a judge for the nation of Israel. You will judge the nation. You will release prophetic anointing. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for them right now. Come on, come on, even as you dance for the Lord. Oh dear girl, as you dance for God, you're broken but still you dance for God. You have been rejected but still you dance for God. You have been forsaken but still you dance for God. So many people have forsaken you. Banyak orang meninggalkan engkau. So many people have left you alone. Engkau sudah ditinggalkan sendirian. Come on, mama, kashele, Sometimes you feel so lonely. Kadang-kadang kau merasa kesepian. Sometimes you feel rejected. Kadang-kadang kau merasa ditolak. But God is your heavenly papa. Tapi Tuhan adalah papa surga. God is your heavenly papa. Tuhan adalah papa surga. He will take care of your life, my dear girl. Tuhan yang melindungi hidupmu. Father, I pray for this dear young girl. Come on, as you are being ministering in dance and in worship towards the people, I could see a bright future in you. I could see a bright future in you. Aku melihat masa depan yang indah dalammu. I could see a bright future in you. Aku melihat masa depan yang indah you dalammu. You come up in life very well. Engkau akan memiliki masa depan yang baik. You'll be educated so well. Engkau akan menerima pendidikan yang tinggi. And you will grow in the fear of God. Dan engkau akan dimuliakan dalam ladang Tuhan. You will Tuhan. have Jesus in you. Engkau memiliki Yesus dalammu. Come on, pour it out to God. Just pour it out to God. Cry and pour it out to God. Curahkan itu untuk Tuhan. There is no place in the world that you can go and cry. Tidak ada tempat lagi di dunia di mana kau bisa menangis. Let me tell you. Saya mau sampaikan. I'm going to pray a prayer. Aku akan berdoa yang doa ini. That no devil. Tidak ada kuasa iblis. No person, no man. Tidak ada manusia. Has authority over a life. Yang memiliki otoritas atas I hidupku. pray right now in the name of Jesus. Aku berdoa dalam nama Yesus. That God you will take in full control of her life. Tuhan yang mengendalikan hidupmu. Father in the name of Jesus. Bapa dalam nama Yesus. 
Many times seringkali you don't want to do what God wants you to do. Engkau sering menolak apa yang Tuhan minta dalam hidupmu. I don't know about you, my dear sister. Aku tidak but tahu tentang engkau. I don't know about you. Aku tidak mengenal but engkau. Many times you don't want to do what God wants. Tapi seringkali engkau menolak untuk apa yang Tuhan minta dalam hidupmu. Sometimes you have been forced to do. Tetapi seringkali engkau harus dipaksa but from untuk today onwards. Tetapi sehari ini. But from today onwards. Sejak hari listen, ini, dengarkan. Listen, from today onwards, dari hari ini, you are going to yield yourself to God completely. Engkau akan menyerahkan dirimu sepenuhnya pada Tuhan. You are being protected. You are being taken care by God Himself. Engkau dilindungi dan Tuhan yang mengurus hidupmu. You are going to lead a group of young people, children, and you are going to teach them. You are going to help them. To do what they have to do for the kingdom of God. Engkau akan memimpin banyak anak-anak muda untuk dibawa kepada Tuhan menolong mereka untuk melakukan apa yang harus kau lakukan dalam Tuhan. And nothing that can destroy your life. Tidak yang bisa menghancurkan hidupmu. I pray for a safety God. Aku berdoa untuk keamanannya Tuhan. I pray for everyone. Pray for everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Bapak Ibu silakan duduk. Shandala, Bapak. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Silakan duduk. Hallelujah Jesus. Hallelujah Jesus. I want you to just give me if may just slowly just pray together. Hallelujah. Thank you Holy Spirit. Koma shandala boku shikiri I feel a very strong anointing in this church. Saya merasa urapan yang kuat di gereja ini. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. Come on, say amen. Katakan amen. As a preacher, when we go to different churches to preach, as Pastor Henry knows about it. Saya sebagai pengkhotbah pergi ke banyak gereja. Pak Henry juga tahu. You know, sometimes we struggle to minister. Kadang-kala kami bergumul untuk melayani. You know, when we go into the church, there's no lies. Kadang-kala kami pergi ke gereja yang tidak ada kehidupan. No, there's no energy. Tidak ada energi. There's no that kind of leading of the spirit. Tidak ada pergerakan Roh Kudus. Sometimes it's so difficult. Kadang-kala itu sulit. But still be, you know, press on. Somehow to press on as a servants of God because we move in apostolic and prophetic anointing. Seringkali kami terus maju, memaksakan diri untuk maju karena kami adalah hamba Tuhan. This cornerstone. dalam ke Secara kenabian dan kerasulan. Cornerstone Apostolic Community Church is totally different. Gereja Cornerstone Bali itu sangat berbeda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This church is again, I want to say that prophetically, this church is going to see thousands of people. Saya katakan sekali lagi bahwa gereja ini akan melihat menjangkau ribuan orang. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to just give you an information. Dan saya mau memberikan informasi ini. I'm just only 30 years old. Saya baru berumur 30 tahun. But but if I become 65. Tetapi nanti kalau saya berumur 65. If I become 70 also. Atau 70 tahun. I'll come back to Bali Cornerstone to preach for thousands of people. Saya akan datang dan berkhotbah di Cornerstone untuk ribuan orang. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. So, so now many people are confused. Beberapa orang bingung. What is the age of this pastor Devadas? Pastor Devadas ni umurnya berapa? I will never tell you. <laughs> Saya tidak akan kasih tahu. But Pastor Henry knows. <laughs> but Pastor Henry knows it very well. Tapi Pak Henry tahu. Come on, say amen. Berapa. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan amen. Katakan hallelujah. We are young in the Lord. Kita muda dalam Tuhan. Oh Father, we want to thank you in Jesus' name. Bapa kami bersyukur dalam nama Yesus. You know, I take this as an honor to pray for the men of God. Satu kehormatan untuk berdoa untuk hamba Tuhan. Mari berdiri. You know, I know I'm a man of God. That even though I'm a man of God, I'm so honored to pray for this apostle Andrew Pereira. Saya juga seorang hamba Tuhan dan merasa terhormat bisa berdoa untuk Rasul I want everyone to lift up, stretch your hands to Mari semua angkat tangan, arahkan ke depan. A powerful depan. anointing. Kuasa yang kuat. A powerful man of God. 
Hamba Tuhan yang diurapi dengan kuat. A man who's going to shake the city of Bali. Seorang hamba Tuhan yang akan mengguncangkan pulau Bali. A man who's going to shake the nation of Indonesia. Yang akan mengguncangkan bangsa Indonesia. A man who's going to shake the nations in Asia. Dan yang akan mengguncangkan bangsa-bangsa di Asia. A man who's going to shake the nations in the continent of Africa. One more time. Yang sekali lagi akan mengguncangkan bangsa-bangsa di Afrika. A man who's going to shake the nations in the third world countries. Yang akan mengguncangkan bangsa-bangsa di negara ketiga. Is going to bring a reformation. Yang akan membawa reformasi. A reformation. Reformasi. A reformation. Reformasi. A karabasha. One man. Satu orang. On Mount Carmel. Mount Carmel. Yang akan satu orang di gunung Carmel. One man. Satu orang di gunung Carmel. On the Mount Carmel. Di atas gunung Carmel. He told King Ahab. Dia berkata kepada Raja Ahab, He said, "Call your Baal prophets on Mount Carmel." Bawa semua nabi-nabi Baalmu di Gunung Carmel. A man who challenged King Ahab. Dan orang itu menantang Raja Ahab. He challenged the King Ahab. He said, "Call your Baal prophets to Mount Carmel. I will meet them there." Dia menantang Raja Ahab. Untuk membawa nabi-nabi Baal dan naik ke Gunung Carmel. Aku akan mencuba mereka di sana. The Apostle Andrew, the Spirit of the Lord is telling me to tell you. Pak Henry, aku Roh Kudus berbicara. The Spirit of the Lord is telling me to tell you, Pastor Henry. Roh Kudus berbicara untuk menyampaikan ini, Pak Henry. One man, satu orang, will slow down thousand people. Akan menjaga banyak ribuan orang. A one man, satu orang, will destroy thousands of enemies. Yang akan mengalahkan ribuan musuh. And when the Baal prophets came on Mount Carmel. Ketika Nabi Tuhan turun datang, Nabi Baal datang ke Gunung Carmel. He proved, he proved, he proved, he proved that Elijah's God was a real God. Itu membuktikan bahwa Allah Elia itu adalah Allah sejati. Father in the name of Jesus. Bapa dalam nama Yesus. Maka rabu syata labu tu rabu labu. Out of your belly is going to flow rivers of living water. Dari dalam kandunganmu akan mengalir air kehidupan. Out of your tongue will flow the fire from heaven. Dari lidahmu akan keluar api dari surga. Out of your hands will flow the power of God into the nations. Dari tanganmu akan keluar kuasa Tuhan kepada bangsa-bangsa. Out of your belly will flow the anointing into many men and women of God all over the earth. Dari kandunganmu akan keluar kuasa Tuhan untuk laki-laki dan perempuan di seluruh bumi. God is going to raise you as a powerful great army. Tuhan akan membangkitkan bagimu kuasa kepala tentara yang besar. I could see a powerful sword that has been given in your hand. Ada kuasa yang diberikan tu Tuhan di dalam tanganmu. I could see a powerful sword. Aku mem- Tuhan memberikan pedang yang kuat. That sword satu will break down every kind of demonic powers. Pedang yang akan mengalahkan semua kuasa kegelapan. I could see a beautiful vessel that you're carrying. Aku melihat bejana yang indah yang kau bawa. That beautiful vessel is full of oil in that. Bejana yang penuh dengan minyak. That means you have the anointing fully into you, my dear pastor. Artinya kau memiliki urapan dalam dirimu. You are going to pour it out to everyone wherever you go. Kemana pun kau pergi, kau akan mencurahkannya kepada semua orang. The Spirit of the Lord is telling me to tell you. Roh Kudus berbicara kepada aku. He has planted you in the center of the garden. He has planted you in the center of the garden. Dia sudah menanam engkau di tengah-tengah kebunnya. You will raise up powerful leaders that who can go even they will they will stay in the times of persecution. Mereka akan membangkitkan banyak pemimpin dan mereka akan berdiri teguh di tengah-tengah In the coming days that you are going to plant many churches around the nations. Dia di banyak bangsa-bangsa akan menanam gereja. An apostolic and a prophetic anointing that has been laid upon you to go and raise and build and to destroy and recreate, redo the things of God that He has predestined upon you. Engkau akan pergi bangsa-bangsa dan engkau menanam kembali apa yang Father, Tuhan sudah Father in the name of Jesus right now 
Come on, everyone together. Baka rabaka shanda laboko shekele. Reka la do rabaka shanda laboko shekele. Reka shanda laboko shekele. Reka shanda laboko shekele. Reka shaba shanda laboko shekele. Eka rabaka shanda laboko shekele. The Spirit of the Lord is telling me to tell you, my dear pastor. God will connect you with the very apostolic and prophetic anointed people. God will reveal it to you when people come to attack you, to stab behind you. God will reveal those things very clearly and that you will be very careful to talk and to get connected and to you know to have fellowship with those people Tuhan akan membukakan bagimu kalau ada orang yang akan menyerang dan menusuk engkau dari belakang The spirit of the Lord is telling me to tell you The spirit of the Lord is telling me to tell you Roh Kudus berbicara that he will never put you to shame He will never put you to shame He will never put you to shame In the city of Bali di pulau Bali The Spirit of the Lord is telling me to tell you that God is going to give you a place to build a beautiful church of 5,000 people. Tuhan akan memberikan kepadamu tempat yang indah untuk gereja. 5,000 people. 5,000 people. 5,000 people. You God is going to give you a beautiful place. Tuhan akan memberikan tempat yang indah. A very big place God has prepared for you. Tuhan yang tempat yang besar Tuhan siapkan bagimu. You will build a beautiful church. Akan membangun gereja yang indah. Father, I bless this man of God. Aku memberkati hamba Tuhan ini. Touch him and bless him, Lord. Jamah dan berkati dia. Even Pastor Noah and also Moses. I bless the family. The name of the Father, the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Uh, come on, put your hands together and, and thank the Lord, everyone together. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Clap, just give a clap offering on the team. Come on, everyone together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, Bless your holy name, Jesus. Amen. Yeah, love you, Pastor. Be strong. God is with you always. Tuhan selalu menyertai mu. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. What a powerful time. Waktu yang sangat kuat. Come on, say Hallelujah. Katakan Hallelujah. I need to go very fast. Saya akan berbicara cepat. I'm going to talk about something. About emotional and spiritual healing. Saya mau berbicara tentang kesembuhan emosional dan kesembuhan spiritual. I am going to speak two things very important this evening. Dan dua hal yang sangat penting malam ini. Emotional and spiritual healing. Kesembuhan emosional dan juga kesembuhan rohani. I want to share five Bible verses right now. Kita akan baca ayat ayat firman Tuhan. Five Bible verses. Ada lima ayat. Five Bible verses I want to share. Saya akan membagikan lima ayat dari Alkitab. I want you to note down every verses for this night. Dan dicatat. Tonight is going to be a night of healing. Malam ini adalah malam kesembuhan. Tonight is is going to be a night of restoration. Ini adalah malam pemulihan. Tonight God is going to heal you emotionally. Malam ini Tuhan akan menyembuhkan. God is going to heal you spiritually. Dan menyembuhkan engkau. Dalam rohmu. God is also going to heal you in your body. Dan juga dalam tubuhmu. A physical healing. Kesembuhan jasmani. An emotional healing. Kesembuhan emosional. And a spiritual healing. Dan juga kesembuhan spiritual. The very first verse that I would like to share. Ayat pertama yang saya mau bagikan. Exodus chapter 15 verse 26. Keluaran pasal yang ke-15 ayat yang ke-26. Exodus chapter 15 verse 26. Keluaran pasal 15 ayat yang ke-26. The Bible says like this. Kita berkata, For I am the Lord who heals you. Akulah Tuhan yang menyembuhkan engkau. For I am the Lord who heals you. Akulah Tuhan yang menyembuhkan engkau. Come on, say Hallelujah. Katakan Hallelujah. Come on, say it with me, my dear brother, my dear sister. Semua katakan bersama saya. Say that God says that I am the Lord that He heals you. Tuhan, bimbang berkata, akulah Tuhan yang menyembuhkan engkau. Come on, say this with me together. 
Katakan ini bersama-sama. He is the Lord who heals me. Dia Tuhan yang menyembuhkan aku. Come on, say it together. He is the Lord who heals me. Yang menyembuhkan aku. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. Come on, tell your neighbor next to you, next to you. Katakan pada kanan kiri. Say that God is the one who will heal you. Karena Tuhan adalah Tuhan yang menyembuhkan. The Lord is the one who will heal you. Tuhan yang menyembuhkan kamu. Emotional healing. Kesembuhan emosional. Spiritual healing. Kesembuhan spiritual. And the body that will be healed tonight. Dan tubuh jasmanimu yang akan disembuhkan malam ini. Your physical body is going to be restored tonight. Tubuh jasmanimu akan dipulihkan malam ini. For I am the Lord who heals you. Aku lah Tuhan yang menyembuhkan engkau. For I am the Lord who heals your family. Aku lah Tuhan yang menyembuhkan engkau. For I am the Lord who will heal you emotionally. Aku lah Tuhan yang menyembuhkan engkau secara emosional. For I am the Lord who will heal you spiritually. Aku lah Tuhan menyembuhkan engkau secara spiritual. Tuhan kita adalah penyembuh yang terbesar. And the second verses. Ayat yang kedua. Psalms 147 verse 2. Mazmur pasal yang ke-147 ayat yang kedua. Psalms 147 verse 2. Mazmur pasal 147 ayat yang kedua. And the Bible says like this. Kita mengatakan ini. He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. Ia menyembuhkan yang patah hati dan membalut yang terluka. In Psalms 147 verse 2 he says, He will heal the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. Mas berbahasa yang 147 ayat yang kedua. Ia menyembuhkan orang-orang yang patah hati dan membalut luka-luka mereka. Come on, read it together in bahasa. Come on, read it together. Mari bersama-sama dalam bahasa Indonesia. Satu, dua, tiga. Ia menyembuhkan orang-orang yang patah hati. Dan membalut luka-luka mereka. He is a God who heals the broken-hearted. Ialah Tuhan yang menyembuhkan orang yang patah hati. You're broken today, my dear brother. Apakah engkau patah hati? Are you broken today? Apakah engkau patah hati? Is your heart is broken today? Apakah hatimu patah hati? Have you given up hope on your life today? Apakah tu kehilangan harapanmu hari ini? Have you given up hope on your family situation today? Apakah tu kehilangan harapan untuk keluarga hari ini? Have you given up hope on your husband today? Apakah tu kehilangan harapan untuk suami hari ini? Have you given up hope on your wife today? Apakah tu kehilangan harapan untuk istrimu? Have you given up hope on your Business today? Apakah kehilangan harapan untuk bisnismu? Are you broken, my dear brother? Apakah hancur? Are you broken, my dear sister? Apakah kau hancur? Eh, young man, young woman, young lady, are you broken in your life today? Anak-anak muda, apakah kau hancur dalam hidupmu? The spirit of the Lord is telling me to tell you. Roh Kudus berbicara. He heals the broken-hearted. Ia men He heals the broken-hearted. He unites the broken-hearted. Your nets might be torn. Your nets might be torn. Your nets might be torn. Jaring mu mungkin sudah rusak. The glass would have been into pieces on the floor. Kaca itu sudah hancur berkeping-keping di lantai. There's no, you think there's no hope for you. Tidak ada harapan bagimu. There's no future. Tidak ada masa depan. Everything is finished. Semuanya sudah selesai. But let me tell you in Jesus' name. Saya katakan dalam nama Yesus. Our God is a God of future. Allah kita dalam Tuhan masa depan kita. Our God is a God of hope and future. Tuhan ada harapan kita untuk masa depan. What God has disdained for you, nobody can stop. Stop what God wants to do in your life. Tu tidak ada yang bisa menghentikan apa yang Tuhan rancangkan dalam hidupmu. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. I don't want to. I don't want you to lose hope in God. Saya tidak mahu kau kehilangan harapan bagi Tuhan. I don't want you to lose hope in ministry. Tidak mungkin kehilangan harapan untuk pelayanan. I don't want you to lose your hope in your family. Mungkin kau kehilangan harapan untuk keluarga. It might be broken into pieces. Itu sudah hancur berkeping-keping. You might be broken into pieces. Kau mungkin sudah hancur berkeping-keping. But my God can bring it together. Tetapi Tuhan ku bisa membawa yang kembali. My God can bring it together. Menyatukan yang kembali. My God can bring it together. Tuhan bisa menyatukan kembali. My God can bring it together. Tuhan bisa menyatukan kembali. Come on, everybody, together. Yes, berikan tepuk tangan buat Tuhan. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. He heals the brokenhearted. Ia menyembuhkan yang patah hati. And he bandages the wounds. Dan dia membalut luka hati. Are you hurt today by somebody? Apa engkau merasa terluka? Somebody spoke against you. 
Ada yang melakukan hal yang buruk padamu. Somebody said against your family. Orang mengatakan hal yang buruk untuk keluargamu. Somebody spoke about your youth life. Seperti orang mengatakan yang buruk untuk kehidupan kamu. spoke very bad about your daddy and mommy. Mereka berbicara buruk untuk orang tuamu. Somebody spoke about your children. Mereka berbicara buruk untuk anak-anakmu. Are you broken today? Apa engkau hancur hari Are you hard today? Engkau terluka hari ini. You say there's no point of going to church. Engkau berkata tidak ada gunanya pergi ke gereja. The last place where I wanted to go is to church. Tempat terakhir di mana aku mau pergi, aku tempat terakhir di mana aku mau pergi adalah gereja. I've been everywhere in the world. Di mana pun di dunia ini. I've been to every place in the world. Aku sudah pergi ke banyak tempat di dunia every ini. Every place where I go, people hurt me, hurt me, hurt me, hurt me. Ke mana pun aku pergi, mereka melukai aku, melukai aku, melukai aku. But if I go to church, tetapi ketika saya pergi ke gereja, I know my wounds will be healed. Aku tahu luka aku akan disembuhkan. But even I went to church, bahkan ketika aku pergi ke gereja, people hurt me, they wounded me. Bahkan ada orang yang melukai aku ketika aku pergi ke gereja. Let me tell you, my dear brother. Saya mau sampaikan ini. Let me tell you, my dear sister. Mau sampaikan ini, saudaraku. Church is a place where different people come together. Gereja adalah tempat di mana orang yang berbeda-beda berkumpul jadi satu. Church is a place not just one finger, five finger, like a five finger different different people come together. Gereja bukan hanya ter- seperti satu jari saja tetapi juga lima when, jari yang berbeda-beda. When we come to church, ketika kita datang ke gereja, we don't come for looking for people. Kita tidak melihat orang-orang. We don't come for looking for our friends in church. Kita tidak men- datang untuk melihat teman kita. When you come to church, ketika kita datang ke gereja, you come in seeking the Lord God Almighty. Kau datang mencari Tuhan yang You berkuasa come in seeking ini. the Lord God. Because my God will never hurt you. Karena Tuhanku tidak akan melukai engkau. My God will never break you, my brother. Ia tidak akan menghancurkan engkau. My God will never speak anything bad about you. Ia tidak akan mengucapkan mengucapkan yang buruk atas hidupmu. As a pastor, sebagai gembala, you think that everyone talks very good about me? Apakah bapa ibu pikir banyak orang berbicara yang baik baik saja kepada saya untuk saya? You know, about ten years ago. Sepuluh tahun lalu, when I started El Shaddai Ministries in Singapore, ketika saya memulai pelayanan di Singapura, you know I sold my house to buy a church. Saya menjual rumah saya untuk memulai pelayanan gereja. One senior ini. pastor called me in Singapore. He said, "Hey, Christopher." Uh, gembala senior mengundang saya di Singapura, Christopher. He, he, he said, "I heard that you sold your house in Singapore to start a church." Aku dengar kau menjual rumahmu di Singapura untuk memulai gereja baru. You know, to buy a house in Singapore, it's not very easy. It's not very cheap. Untuk membeli, bisa membeli rumah di Singapura itu tidak mudah dan tidak murah. When I came out from a mega church in Singapore, saya keluar dari gereja yang mega church, gereja yang besar di Singapura. I don't want to start a church. I want to just minister as an evangelist. I want to go back to India. I want to take take over my father's church because my father's church is too big, a big property. Pastor Henry and his wife they have come to our church. I don't want to do anything in Singapore, but God put a burden that I need to do something for the Indians in Singapore. Sebenarnya saya tidak mau memulai gereja di Singapura, tapi saya mau kembali ke India karena uh, ada gereja besar yang dikembalakan bapak saya. Tapi Tuhan menaruh beban dalam diri saya untuk melayani di Singapura dan di India. Then to start a church, I not have money. Ketika saya memulai, saya tidak punya uang. I play guitar. Saya main gitar. I play music. I know. Saya music. main musik. I not have a guitar. Saya tidak punya gitar. I not have a computer. Saya tidak punya komputer. I not have anything in my hand. Saya tidak punya apapun di tangan saya. But God told me do something in the nation of Singapore. Dan lakukan sesuatu untuk negara Singapura. I said God, I don't have money. Saya tidak punya uang Tuhan. I can't do this. Saya tidak bisa lakukan ini. I will go back to India. Saya kembali ke India. My father's property is so big. Karena properti ayah saya besar. In my father's church there are 800 people. Di gereja papa saya ada 800 orang. I can run the church in that country. Saya bisa menggembalakan gereja itu di sana. God said no, you start something over here in Singapore. Tuhan berkata tidak, kau harus memulai sesuatu di Singapura. I went and asked my wife. 
Dan saya bertanya pada istri saya. I told Pastor Asha, can we sell the house and start the church? Dan saya berbicara kepada Pastor Asha, boleh saya menjual rumah saya untuk memulai pelayanan ini? My wife was very wild and she was very upset. She said, how can you say that we have to sell our house? Dan istri saya ketika saya berbicara dia tiba-tiba marah. Dan bagaimana mungkin kami bisa menjual rumah kita untuk memulai gereja? You know for the ladies at home they need a home to stay. They need a home to stay. They need untuk, house. Untuk ibu-ibu mereka butuh rumah untuk tinggal. Even they don't have food but they need a house to stay. Walaupun tidak punya makanan tapi mereka butuh rumah my, untuk tinggal. My wife was a bit upset. Istri saya marah. And after that I went again God impressed me said do something. Kemudian ketika saya pergi Tuhan memberikan impresi itu dan saya harus melakukan sesuatu. I sold my five room flat in Singapore. Dan saya menjual uh, flat saya di Singapore. The pastor in Singapore, senior pastor called me said, "Are you crazy?" Pastor senior pastor saya di Singapore berkata, "Kamu gila." How can you sell a house in Singapore? How you will buy one more house in Singapore? <laughs> Kalau kau bisa menjual rumahmu di Singapore, bagaimana kau bisa membeli lagi nanti di Singapore? I told pastor I sold the house and I'm going to start a church. I bought everything for the church. I'm going to start the church in a very big hotel. Saya sudah menjual rumah saya dan saya akan memulai pelayanan ini dan saya akan memulai pelayanan ini di satu hotel. You know, after I bought the, uh, I, I started the ministry. Ketika saya memulai pelayanan ini, you know, it was like every night I could not sleep well. Setiap malam saya tidak bisa tidur. Because of the ministry, karena pelayanan ini, you know, people could not understand me. Karena banyak orang tidak bisa mengerti saya. People started talking all negative words against me. Banyak orang yang berbicara negatif tentang you saya. Know, they come for prayer. Ketika mereka datang untuk didoakan. I lay my hands upon them. Ketika saya menumpangkan tangan atas mereka. I pray from my heart. Aku berdoa untuk dalam hati saya. I pray from my spirit. Aku berdoa untuk roh saya. I say God bless them. Tuhan berkati mereka. Let them buy a house. Biarkan mereka bisa membeli rumah. Let them buy a big car. Bisa mereka beli mobil. Let their children go to the university. Biarkan anak-anak mereka bisa pergi ke universitas. Let them flourish, oh God. Biarkan mereka berkembang, Tuhan. God answered my prayer. Tuhan menjawab doa saya. Many people were blessed. Banyak orang diberkati. Many people got their good houses for their. Banyak for orang men- bisa mendapatkan rumah yang baik. But I could not sleep very well. Tapi saya tidak bisa tidur dengan baik. People started talking bad about me. Banyak orang berbicara yang buruk tentang saya. The good things they receive, but they go behind. They talk bad about me. Banyak hal yang baik mereka terima, tapi mereka bicara yang buruk di belakang. In the night I will not sleep. Setiap malam saya tidak bisa tidur. My wife is a senior nurse in Mount Elizabeth Hospital in Singapore. Istri saya. Uh, Suster yang senior di rumah sakit Mount Elizabeth di Singapore. In Mount Elizabeth, you know that's the best hospital. She works there as a senior staff nurse. Dia sebagai senior staff di rumah sakit yang terkenal paling baik di Singapore. And every Mount night Elizabeth. she will see me struggling. Setiap malam dia melihat saya bergumul. One day I don't know what happened to me. Dan dia bertanya apa yang terjadi dengan saya. I slept so well. Tiba-tiba saya merasakan bahwa saya tidur dengan tenang. Morning menang. nine o'clock I could not wake up. Jam 9 saya tidak bisa bangun. I had a good sleep. Saya memiliki, saya bisa tidur tenang. And I told Marsha, I had a very good sleep today. Dan dia berkata kepada istri saya, Marsha, saya bisa tidur nyenyak hari ini. She said, Yeah, you know why? Ya, saya tahu. Tahu kenapa? Because I gave you a sleeping tablet. Karena aku berikan kepada kamu obat tidur. Come on, say amen. amen. Because she's a nurse. Kalau karena dia seorang suster. She knows how much dosage that she can give me. Dan dia tahu dosis yang dia bisa berikan. She gave me a sleeping me. tablet to sleep. Dia memberikan saya obat tidur. And I told her I had a good sleep. Dan saya bilang kepada saya bisa tidur nyenyak. And that day she cried and she asked me. She told me. Dan she, hari itu dia menangis dan berkata kepada said, saya. Please don't worry about ministry. Dan dia berkata jangan khawatir untuk pelayanan ini. Leave the ministry to the Lord. Bawa milik pelayanan itu kepada Tuhan. Let God take care. Biar Tuhan yang ngurus of this ministry. Pelayanan ini. I don't want to lose you. 
Aku sick of the ministry. Aku tidak mau kehilangan kamu dan kamu menjadi sakit memikirkan ini. I don't want you to die very soon. Aku tidak mau cepat mati. Because of the worries that you are going through. Karena kekhawatiran yang ada dalam hidupmu. Can you they can we pray together and say to God from today this ministry belongs to you, Father. Dan mulai hari itu kami berdoa dan menyerahkan pelayanan ini menjadi milik Tuhan. And that day night we both knelt in the presence of God. Dan malam itu kami berdoa di dalam hadirat Tuhan. And we said, I said, God, I said, God. Dan aku berkata Tuhan. From here on, mulai tahun ini, I will never be worried about the ministry that you have given to me. Aku tidak mau lagi khawatir untuk pelayanan yang kau berikan kepada aku. This is your ministry. Ini adalah pelayanan. I will do my best. Aku akan lakukan yang terbaik. I don't care what people talk about me. Aku tidak peduli apa yang orang katakan. I don't care. I don't care what people talk about my family. Aku tidak peduli apa yang orang katakan untuk keluarga. But you will take care of this ministry from here on. Kau yang akan mengurus pelayanan ini dari tahun ini. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. From that day onwards. Sejak hari itu. Until today. Sampai hari ini. I don't take sleeping tablets. Saya tidak pernah lagi minum minum obat tidur. Come on, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was the first and last sleeping tablet. Itu yang pertama dan terakhir saya minum obat tidur. Because I've left it to the Lord. Dan saya serahkan itu kepada Tuhan. Are you broken, my dear brother? Apakah kau patah hati? Are you torn into pieces this evening? Apakah kau hancur berkeping-keping malam ini? My God can bring you back again. Tuhan kau bisa memulihkan engkau kembali. God can put your family back again. Tuhan keluar kamu akan diiksa kembali. God can rebuild your family again. Tuhan akan membangun kembali keluarga kamu. God can reform your life again. Tuhan akan membentuk kembali. Many people would have cursed you. Banyak orang mengutuk engkau. But every curses are going to turn to blessing. Tapi setiap kutuk akan menjadi berkat. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. I want you to say to your neighbor. Katakan di samping kanan kiri. Every curse. Setiap kutuk. God is going to turn. To blessing. Tuhan akan merubahnya menjadi berkat. Every curse in your life. Semua kutuk dalam hidupmu. Every curse on your family. Semua kutuk dalam keluarga. God is going to turn into blessing. Tuhan akan mengubahnya menjadi berkat. Yeah. Yeah. Shanda la bokushi. Oh, we thank you, Holy Spirit. Terima kasih Roh Kudus. Thank you, Jesus. Terima kasih Yesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My time is going very fast. Waktu berjalan dengan cepat. Verse three. Ayat yang ketiga. In Jeremiah chapter three verse twenty two. Yeremia pasal yang ketiga ayat yang ke dua puluh dua. In Jeremiah chapter three verse twenty two. Yeremia pasal yang ke tiga ayat yang ke dua puluh dua. The Bible says like this: My wayward children, says the Lord, come back to me, and I will heal your wayward hearts. Yeremia pasal yang ketiga ayat yang ke-22. Kembalilah hai anak-anak yang murtad. Aku akan menyembuhkan engkau dari murtadmu. My wayward children says the Lord, come back to me and I will heal your wayward. Kembalilah hai anak-anak yang murtad. Aku akan menyembuhkan engkau dari murtadmu. If you return back to God tonight, kalau engkau kembali kepada Tuhan malam ini, God will change every of your ways that are evil. Tuhan akan mengubah semua jalan-jalanmu yang jahat. Your ways and your heart and your life might be evil, but God will change it. He will heal every kind of evil, wayward heart that you have in your life. Semua jalan-jalanmu yang buruk, semua jalan-jalan yang murtad. Semua pikiran-pikiran yang murtad Tuhan akan mengubahkan kembali. And verse four. Ayat yang keempat. Jeremiah chapter three. Sorry, Jeremiah chapter seventeen verse fourteen. Yeremia pasal yang ketujuh belas ayat yang keempat. Jeremiah chapter seventeen verse fourteen. Yeremia pasal yang ketujuh belas ayat yang keempat. The Bible says like this. Oh Lord, if you heal me, I'll be truly healed. Come on, say Amen. Katakan Amen. Come on, say Hallelujah. Sembuhkanlah aku ya Tuhan. Come on, say hallelujah. Maka aku akan sembuh. Come on, everyone, read it together. Read it together. Semua baca bersama-sama. Satu, dua, tiga. Sembuhkanlah aku tu ya Tuhan. Maka aku akan sembuh. Oh Lord, if you heal me, I'll be healed truly, healed truly. If you save me, I'll be truly saved. My praises are for you alone. 
Sembuhkanlah aku ya Tuhan, maka aku akan sembuh. Selamatkanlah aku, maka aku akan selamat. Sebab engkaulah kepujianku. And today God is going to heal you completely. Hari ini Tuhan akan menyembuhkan engkau sepenuhnya. God is going to heal you emotionally. Tuhan akan menyembuhkan kau God is going to heal you spiritually. Tuhan akan menyembuhkan kau secara God is going to heal you in your health, my dear brother. Tuhan akan menyembuhkan kesehatanmu. Oh Lord, if you heal me, I'll be truly healed. Kalau Tuhan menyembuhkan aku akan sungguh-sungguh sembuh. If you save me, I'll be truly saved. Kalau Kau menyelamatkan aku, aku akan selamat. And my precious are for you alone. When God heals you, you need to praise God. When God heals you, you need to worship God. When God heals you, you need to come back to God again. Come on, say hallelujah. Come on, say amen. You need to be faithful to God if God heals you tonight. And the last verse. Dan ayat yang terakhir. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. Kisah para rasul yang ke-10. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. Kisah para rasul 10 ayat yang ke-38. Acts chapter 10 verse 38 says like this. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. And how he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil. Because God was with him. Kisah para rasul yang ke-10 ayat yang ke-38. Yaitu tentang Yesus dari Nazaret Bagaimana Allah mengurapi dia dengan roh kudus Dan kuat kuasa Dia yang berjalan berkeliling sambil berbuat baik Dan menyembuhkan semua orang yang dikuasai iblis Sebab every, Allah menyertai dia I want everyone to read together Acts 10, 38 on the screen Everyone together read semua together Semua baca bersama-sama di layar Kisah Barat Rasul 10, 38 Satu, dua, tiga Yaitu tentang Yesus dari Nazaret, bagaimana Allah mengurapi dia dengan Roh Kudus dan kuat kuasa. Dia yang berjalan berkeliling sambil berbuat baik dan menyembuhkan semua orang yang dikuasai iblis. Sebab Allah menyertai dia. How God he went around doing good and healing all over under the power of the devil. Dan dia berjalan berkeliling. Are you ready for your healing tonight, my dear brother? Bapa ibu siap malam ini untuk disembuhkan. Are you ready for your healing tonight? Apakah bapa ibu siap untuk kesembuhan malam ini? Tonight I don't care how late it's going to be. Malam ini saya tidak peduli kita akan pulang berapa malam. It's okay because tomorrow morning I'm flying off from Bali. Nah masalah karena besok saya pulang dan terbang dari Bali. At least I have to be in the airport around eight o'clock. Dan mereka saya harus kembali dan siap sampai jam delapan. I never knew it, but my wife reminded that you need to be in the airport at eight o'clock. Don't sleep. Isteri saya mengingatkan saya bahwa jam delapan kamu harus sudah di bandara. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. For me, I don't care. Even I can pray until early morning, two o'clock. Saya tidak peduli. Mungkin saya bisa berdoa sampai jam dua pagi. I can minister. Saya bisa melayani. God has given us the strength and the anointing. Tuhan memberikan kepada kita kekuatan. Come on, say amen. Katakan amen. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. I like to minister. Saya suka melayani. You know, one time I was preaching in London. Suatu hari saya berkhotbah di London. It was so cold. Begitu dingin. It was so cold and it was like too much of, you know, like it was heavy cold and it was almost two o'clock in early in the morning. Di London begitu dingin rasanya. Dingin yang begitu menekan hampir jam dua pagi. And the pastor came and told me. Dan gembala di sana berkata kepada saya. Hey pastor, you're very tired. 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 You're you know, in Malaysia, also in Indonesia, we have right on the highway. Yeah. We touch, it opens. We go. We Kalau touch. Kalau di jalan tol kan. We go. You know, touch and go. Touch and go. <laughs> Kalau di jalan tol kan kita taruh kartu itu. Uh, ini palangnya terbuka dan kita jalan. But uh, I told the pastor. Dan saya bilang kepada gembala di sana. I'm not a touch and go minister. <laughs> saya bukan pelayan yang jamah dan pergi. I will touch and pray. 
Then I will go. <laughs> saya jamaah, saya berdoa, baru saya pergi. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. Are you ready for a miracle tonight? Siap untuk mujizat malam Come ini. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. One in three miracles, just I want to name that, I want to finish. Dan saya mau katakan tiga mujizat malam ini. Dan I want you to just start in worship. I want, to, I want you to think about a healing, a healing, a song of healing, a song of restoration, a song of deliverance, you know, that kind of song. You know, in the Bible, in the Old Testament, there are two miracles. There are a lot of miracles. There are a lot of miracles. Ada banyak mujizat. But the first miracle was in Naham, Naaman, when he was a leper. Yang saya sampaikan pertama adalah Naaman, ia sakit kusta. In Second Kings chapter five, was five to fourteen. Dua rada raja raja pasal yang kelima, ayat yang kelima sampai empat belas. Naaman was a leper. Naman sakit kusta. He was a leper. Dia seorang yang sakit kusta. But he was a powerful man. Dia seorang yang kuat. But he has leprosy. Tapi dia punya sakit kusta. He had leprosy over his whole body. Dan dia punya sakit kusta di seluruh tubuhnya. And a little slave girl came and said, "There is a prophet in Samaria." Dan seorang uh, hambanya datang mengatakan bahwa seorang hamba Tuhan di Samaria. Sama- if my You know, my, my 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 boss could go to Samaria. Bosku bisa pergi ke Samaria. And there is a prophet there. The prophet name is Elisha. Ada seorang nabi di sana namanya Elisa. When he goes to the prophet, kalau kau pergi ke nabi itu, he'll be healed completely. Kau akan disembuhkan sepenuhnya. To make the story short, singkatnya, Naaman goes to Elisha. Naaman pergi kepada Elisa. Elisha is sitting inside the office. Dan dia duduk di rumahnya, Elisa. He's sitting inside the office. Dia duduk di rumahnya. Naaman is standing outside. Nah, Naaman ada di berdiri di luar. A powerful man. Orang yang penuh kuasa. Big horses. Dia punya kuda yang kuat. Seorang kereta yang besar. Fighters. Dia seorang pejuang. Lot of silver, gold, money. Dia punya kekayaan. He's standing outside. Dia berdiri di depan. Elisha is inside. Elisa ada di dalam. A prophet is in sitting inside. Nabi itu duduk di dalam. The man of God is sitting inside. Hamba Tuhan ini berdiri and duduk the, di dalam. And the servant comes and says to Elisha. Dan hambanya pergi bertemu dengan Elisa. Nahaman is standing outside. Nahaman berdiri di luar. Elisha is asking what he wants me to do. Elisa bertanya kepada dia apa yang apa yang dia mau. What he wants me to do. Apa yang dia mau aku lakukan. And the servant is telling Elisha he wants to be healed from his leprosy. Dan anak uh, hamba itu berkata kepada Elisa, oh. dia mau disembuhkan dari kustanya. He wants to be healed from his leprosy. Dia mau disembuhkan dari kustanya. Ask Naaman to go and dip in the river Jordan seven times. Katakan kepada Naaman untuk mandi di Sungai Yordan tujuh kali. Come on, listen to me, my dear brother. Dengarkan saya. Listen to me, my dear sister. Dengarkan saya. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. Come on, say amen. Katakan amen. Ask him to go and dip in the ro- river Jordan seven times. Suruh dia untuk pergi ke Sungai Yordan dan merendam diri tujuh kali. He gets very angry. Dia marah. Naaman gets very angry. Naaman marah. Hey, who's that fellow inside? Huh? Eh, siapa yang orang di dalam itu? What he thinks of himself? Dia pikir dia siapa? He doesn't know who I am. Dia tidak tahu siapa saya. I am the chief commander of Syria. Aku, aku adalah panglima bala tentara I Syria. So power. Saya punya kuasa. Elisha said. Elisa berkata, I don't care who you are. Aku tidak peduli kamu siapa. I like that, my dear brother. I like that. Saya suka itu. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. Come on, say amen. Katakan amen. I like Elisa. Saya suka Elisa. Say, hey, I don't care who you are. Eh? Aku tidak peduli kamu siapa. I don't care who you are. Aku tidak peduli kamu Go siapa. Go and dip in the river Jordan seven times. Pergi dan mandi, rendam tujuh kali di Sungai Yordan. He was very upset. Dia marah. Very angry. Dia marah dan kecewa. Hey, you pastor. Hey, kau gembala. Come. Pendeta datang. Lay your hand on me. Tumpang tangan pada Pray saya. Pray for 15 minutes. Berdoa untuk lima menit. Pray in the spirit. Berdoa dalam roh. Pray in the tongue. Berdoa dalam bahasa roh. Don't touch and go, pastor. Jangan berdoa, jangan dan pergi. Hah? Hah? Don't touch and go. Jangan jamah dan pergi. You came from Singapore. Go pergi ke Singapore. To touch and go. Go datang untuk jamah dan pergi. Don't touch and go. Jangan jamah dan pergi. You pray for me 
for at least three minutes. Go berjuang untuk saya paling tidak tiga menit. Elisha said, "Go and dip in the water." Elisha berkata. Kamu sudah Obedience is better than sacrifice, my dear brother. Ketaatan lebih penting daripada persembahanmu. Berikan tepuk tangan. Ketaatan hey! lebih penting dari persembahanmu. Katakan Hallelujah. Come on, say amen. Katakan amen. He went and dipped in the water seven times. Dia pergi merendam diri tujuh kali. His skin became a skin like a like a baby, like a child. Kulitnya sembuh seperti kulit bayi. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. Come on, say amen. Katakan amen. Another one more miracle that was King Ezekiah. Mujizat yang kedua adalah. Raja Hezkia. Hezekiah was almost in a dying situation. Hezkia dalam posisi hampir mati. Second Kings chapter 20 verses 1 onwards. Don't Dua raja-raja pasal yang ke-20. But Isaiah came and told Hezekiah, you need to pray and seek God for your deliverance, healing. Huh? Kau harus berdoa Hezekia untuk kesembuhan dan kebebasanmu. Allah, Hezekiah turned towards the wall and he started praying. Dan dia mengab- memalingkan badan, dia beralih kepada tembok dan mulai berdoa. God had it in his life 15 years. Tuhan menambahkan umurnya 15 tahun lagi. God had it in his life 15 years. Come Tuhan on, menambahkan Lord. umurnya 15 tahun lagi. And the third miracle I want to finish right now. Dan mujizat yang ketiga. Luke chapter 7. Lukas pasal yang ketujuh. Yang pertama sampai seterusnya. The faith of the centurion. Iman dari seorang panglima. A commander, a centurion came to Jesus. He said, my servant is almost in a dying situation. Seorang panglima tentara datang kepada Yesus. Hamba ku mau mati. The Bible says very clearly. Kita berkata dengan jelas. And Jesus was so busy in his ministry. Yesus sedang sibuk dengan pelayanannya. And Jesus went towards the centurion's house. Dia pergi, Yesus tidak pergi ke rumahnya. And the centurion came on the way he said. Dan panglim, Yesus mau pergi ke rumahnya. Jesus don't come to my house. Yesus kata jangan datang ke rumah I'm saya. I'm unworthy for you to come to my house. Aku tidak layak menerima engkau di rumahku. So just say one word. Katakan saja satu kata. Just say one word. Ucapkan saja satu kata. Just say one word. Ucapkan saja satu kata. Come on, just say one word, Jesus. Yesus, ucapkan saja satu kata. Come on, let me tell you, brothers and sisters. Saya sampaikan ini, saudaraku. One word from God tonight will change, will transform you completely. Satu kata dari Tuhan akan berubah dan mengubah hidupmu sepenuhnya. Come on, say hallelujah. Katakan hallelujah. Come on, say amen. Katakan amen. Centurion said, don't need to come to my home, oh God. Perwira itu berkata, jangan datang ke rumahku. You're too busy, Jesus. Kau terlalu sibuk, Yesus. Just say one word. Ucapkan saja satu kata. Just say one word. Ucapkan saja satu kata. Just one word, oh God. Hanya satu saja, Let's all stand in the presence of God again Mari semua right berdiri now. Dalam I want you to Tuhan. sing a worship song. Come on, everyone together. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Shikana you are the one Yes, oh God. You say, Come on, lift up your hands. And you hear my deceit. Yes, Lord. You are the God, my healer. Come on, everyone together, lift up your hands and sing unto Jesus. You are the God, my healer. Come on, everyone together, lift up your hands and sing unto Jesus.
you're here for the first time, I want you just lift up your hands right now. Yang malam ini baru datang pertama kali bisa angkat tangan. Those who are first time, I want you to just come forward here, please. Yang baru pertama kali datang maju ke depan. Those who are here for the first time, please come forward. Yang baru pertama kali datang maju ke depan. Come forward, please. I don't want anyone, anyone to leave. Please stay just for another five, ten minutes. I'm going to finish it right now. I'm going to call upon Pastor Dr. Henry to come up on the stage. Come up on the pulpit here. Hallelujah. 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 Is there anybody new coming to this place first time? Anybody first time? Yang baru pertama kali datang. I want you to come forward. I want you to come forward. Mari maju ke depan yang baru pertama kali datang. Come forward, come forward, please. Maju ke depan. I want to give this time to pastor, our pastor of this church. He will lead into a sinner's prayer. Hallelujah. Dia akan memimpin doa. Bapak ibu semua ini malam menjadi malam kesembuhan puncak bagi kita semua. Dan karena itu saya panggil semua orang yang sakit, termasuk anggota dari gereja ini yang sakit. Mari datang ke depan dengan sangat cepat sebab ini waktu terakhir. Dr. Davaras bersama-sama dengan kita, mari semua yang sakit, mari maju ke depan sangat cepat, waktunya sangat terbatas. Sesudah ini kita akan spend waktu kepada Dr. Davaras untuk berdoa bagi orang-orang, bagi pemimpin-pemimpin dan anggota gereja kita. Mari Bapak dan Ibu yang datang yang sakit cepat maju, cepat maju. Atau anda datang dengan sebuah pergumulan dan anda ingin didoakan secara khusus, mari ke depan dengan sangat cepat. Mari datang dengan sangat cepat. Lagu yang tadi dinyanyikan nanti dalam bahasa Indonesia. Semua pelayan-pelayan Tuhan, tolong saya, tolong saya. Pelayan-pelayan Tuhan, tolong saya. Tolong ada di belakang mereka, catcher. Jangan ada yang duduk di belakang, pelayan-pelayan Tuhan. Mari maju ke depan, pelayan-pelayan Tuhan, tolong saya. Cepat pelayan-pelayan Tuhan, gembala-gembala. Elders, tolong siap di depan untuk membantu meletakkan tangan. Pastikan sudah ada di depan semua di belakang mereka Dan sekarang semua bapak dan ibu yang ada di depan Mari tutup mata dalam hitungan ketiga Satu, dua, dan tiga Tutup mata Lalu mari ikuti doa yang saya ucapkan bersama-sama malam ini Ucapkan beberapa orang masih maju Mari ikuti doa saya pelayan-pelayan Tuhan Pelayan-pelayan Tuhan dengarkan saya ucapkan apa yang saya ucapkan di telinga mereka Supaya mereka bisa mengulangi apa yang saya ucapkan Ucapkan di telinga mereka supaya mereka bisa mengulangi apa yang saya ucapkan. Katakan dengan saya, Tuhan Yesus, saya datang di hadapanmu malam ini. Saya minta ampun untuk semua dosa yang saya lakukan. Mewakili ayah dan ibu saya. Mewakili kakek dan nenek saya. Saya datang mohon ampunanmu. Dan saya mengundang engkau datang secara pribadi Menjadi Tuhan dan Juru Selamat atas hidup saya Saya percaya firman Allah itu ya dan amin Bahwa engkau akan menyembuhkan saya secara komplit malam ini Baik tubuh, jiwa dan roh saya Saya selakan ke dalam tanganmu Malam ini menjadi malam kesembuhan. Sebagaimana engkau menyembuhkan na aman. Waktu hamba-hamba Tuhan meletakkan tangan. Saya percaya malam ini. Sesuatu pasti terjadi. Saya disembuhkan secara sempurna malam ini. Saya percaya kepada Yesus. Kepada Bapa. Dan kepada roh kudus Saya terima kesembuhan itu malam ini Nah mari angkat tangan tinggi-tinggi semua angkat tangan Semua angkat tangan Dan dalam waktu hitungan ketiga ke depan Pengurapan kesembuhan akan turun Lalu kemudian apa salda faras dan hamba-hamba Tuhan yang lain Juga saya akan meletakkan tangan Beri dengan, beri dengan kuat Sebab sesuatu yang sangat dahsyat akan terjadi malam ini. Bapa di surga malam ini lepaskan pengurapan kesembuhan buat atas gereja mu malam ini. Aku berdoa di dalam nama Yesus Tuhan. Kuasa Tuhan. Kuasa Tuhan. Kuasa Tuhan. Kuasa kesembuhan. The healing anointing. Kuasa kesembuhan. Pengurapan kesembuhan. Satu, dua, dan tiga, lima, lima ini, 
Nobody can take what God has planned for you. But say, God, I need you much more in my life. Say, I need you, God, much more in my life. Do not give way for anything in your life. Do not give way for anything in your life. But just commit your life to God. Hallelujah. He got prayed. Father, in the name of Jesus, pray for the touch of the Holy Spirit right now. Let the fire of God, let the fire of God, let the Spirit of God, in the name of Jesus, right now. Come on, receive a breakthrough. Receive a breakthrough, my dear brother. There are a lot of things that are surrounding your life. You need to throw everything out. 
Engkau harus membuangnya keluar. But just say Jesus come into my heart, come into my life tonight. Tapi hanya katakan Yesus datang. You need to come back to church again and again. Harus kembali ke gereja. Come to church again and again. Lagi dan lagi. Your life will be completely changed. Hidupmu akan berubah sepenuhnya. Complete transformation will come. Pemulihan yang sepenuhnya. Your future is in the hands of God. Tasa depanmu di tangan Tuhan. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Dalam nama Yesus. In the power of the Holy Spirit. Dalam perlindungan kuasa Roh Kudus. In the power of the Holy Spirit. Kuasa Roh Kudus. Touch him right now. Jamaah Yesus. Kuasa Tuhan mengalir. In the name of Jesus. Dalam nama Yesus. Jamaah ini. Semua yang jadi tenar itu harus keluar. Keluar dari tubuhnya. Terima abiala, terima abiala. Breakthrough in your life. Abiala. Receive a breakthrough in your life. Terima terobosan dalam hidup. Terus. Many things that are trying to. Kuasa Tuhan cemar dia. You know, come across your life. Cemar dia. To cheat you, to destroy you, take. Cemar dia dalam nama Yesus. God has given to you. Banyak hal yang di sekelilingmu yang perlu saya menjatuhkan engkau menipu. Come back to God. Come back to Jesus, my dear sister. Three minutes. Three minutes. Come back to Jesus. Commit your ways to God. Commit your life to God. Plus, God wants to make you a blessing. You're broken. You're broken. You're broken. You're broken. You're in tears. You're in pain. Happy. God knows about your life. God knows about your life. God knows about your life. God is able to take care of you. Have you believed they've forsaken you? They've forsaken you. You've been forsaken. You've been forsaken. But God knows about your life. But God knows about your life. But God knows about your life. In the name of Jesus, mighty and mighty. Come on, come on, brother, receive the action of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly power, a fear, a fear that is trying to grip his life. The fear that is trying to grip his life. Come on, Jesus' name. Let the Spirit of God set him free. Let the Spirit of God set him free right now. Touch right now. The anointing flow to this. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the Spirit of God. Father, I pray that, Lord, every kind of brokenness, Every kind of brokenness, every kind of hurt that he has in his life, every kind of disturbance by the spirit, every kind of human that tried to attack him in many ways, I pray right now in the name of Jesus. For the Spirit of God, pray for the power of God. Come on, receive a divine wisdom, my dear son. Receive a divine wisdom, a divine wisdom. You know, you will never be a failure, Lord. But you will pass through. You will have victories in your life. Any kind of disturbance that he has, he's going through. Find it, Jesus. To be set free, Lord. Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Pray for the power of God. For the spirit of God. Hallelujah. God is going to lift you up to another level, my dear brother. 
from a very scratch, not without nothing. There was nothing when you started off your life, your family. There was nothing that you had in your life. But God is going to add much more of His blessings and favor upon you. Much more of blessings and favor is going to come. The fear of God will bring all the favor and blessings in your life. Hold on to the promises of God. Hold on to the promises of God. Let her be touched. Let her be ministered. Touch her by your spirit. Father, I pray for this dear sister. I pray for your empowerment of your Holy Spirit. You need more God in your life. Humble yourself before the presence of God. And say, God, you need much more in my life. Seek God always. Do not give up on God. Because God has prepared beautiful things for you. Beautiful things that God has restored. God has prepared beautiful things for you in your life. Come on, say, Jesus, I receive it. Come on, just say, Jesus, I receive it. Come on, say, Jesus, I receive it. Father, right now, let not the devil, let not people tempt her and pull her away from the presence of God. Jesus, name. Father, I pray for your healing virtues. I pray for a complete restoration, a complete healing right now. Even as she comes into you, your presence, oh God, I pray that Lord she'll be set free completely. She'll be set free completely. Every brokenness, every brokenness, every pain that 
Spirit right now. At this very young age, let the mind not get diverted. 
Let the mind not get diverted. Biarlah pikirannya tidak diombang-ambingkan. Let the mind be the mind of Christ. Biarlah pikirannya dipenuhi menjadi pikiran Kristus. I pray the Spirit of God will capture a mind, a heart, of Father. Aku berdoa biarlah Roh Tuhan mengubahkan pikiran dan hatinya. Let nothing come across a life to destroy a life, a youth life. Biarlah tidak ada sesuatu yang datang untuk menyanyiakan masa mudanya. Let them understand who's God. Biarlah pengertian datang. Let them commit a ways to God. Untuk menyerahkan hidupnya sepenuhnya pada Tuhan. Do not listen to anybody. Jangan mendengarkan setiap orang. Pray. Berdoalah. Wait in the presence of God. Tunggu hadirnya. Read the word of God. Baca firman Tuhan. Your life will prosper. Your life will prosper. Touch her by your spirit, oh Father. Father, I pray for this dear sister. I pray for the spirit of God to touch. There's a miracle that is waiting for you. There's a miracle that is waiting for you. There's a supernatural miracle that God is going to do in your life. There might be many negative words that might be spoken against you. There might be many negative words that might be spoken against your family. But God's plans will never change in your life. God's plans will never change in your life, in your family. I command you, devil, right now. Put your mic near. Put your mic near. I command you, devil, right now. In the name of Jesus. Dalam nama Yesus. Never touch this dear sister. Jangan pernah kau menyentuh Do not touch sadariku. a body system. Jangan pernah menyentuh tubuhnya. Do not stand against the miracle that God has for her. Jangan pernah menentang hey. mujizat yang akan Tuhan lakukan atasnya. Huh? The name of Jesus. Dalam nama Yesus. The name of Jesus. Dalam nama Yesus. Do not touch a body. Jangan jama tubuh. Do not touch a miracle. Jangan jama, jangan Do not do mujizatnya. anything against a miracle hey. 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 the name of Jesus the name of Jesus Father, I pray right now. Let the devil remove. Put your mic here and speak louder. Speak in authority. Huh? Pray in authority. Come on, say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Hey, look at me, devil. Lihat saya iblis. Look at me. Lihat saya. Hey. Ah. This will be the last minute for you. Ini akan menjadi menit-menit terakhirmu. You will never follow this dear sister again. Kau tidak akan berkuasa atas saudariku lagi. You will never follow to a home. Kau tidak akan mengikutinya ke you rumah. You will never follow wherever she goes. Kau tidak akan mengikutinya kemana pun dia pergi. Leave, 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 leave this body. Pergi tinggalkan tubuhnya. Leave in the name of Jesus. Pergi dalam nama Yesus. Hey, hey. Papa, aku perintahkan saat ini. Iblis tidak akan lagi menghancurkan setiap berkat yang Tuhan sediakan padanya. Apakah kau mendengar Iblis? Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you glory.
give you grace because of who you are I will lay my voice and say Lord I worship you because of who you are Lord I worship you because of who you are because of who you are I give you glory because of who you are Father in the name of Jesus because of who you are I will receive the healing into your body right now you know, there's a kind of illness that is in your body system. There's kind of illness into your body. But God is going to heal you tonight. I don't know, it looks like an energy kind of illness. An energy kind of illness. Jehovah Nisi Lord, you are There's a kind of fear that comes into you. The kind of a lot of evil, a lot of idols, you know, that kind of things that comes and disturbs your sleep. But do not be worried, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Because God is going to set you free tonight. And also you have been very scared about your life. You have been very worried about tomorrow. You are very worried about your family. You are so much disturbed my dear sister. You have been just wondering what is happening to me. Why all these things are happening to me. I believe in Jesus. I have not done anything much wrong in my life. But I am in tears. Yes, I'm broken. You need to understand something, my dear sister. God loves you. Speak louder. God loves you so much. God is taking care of your life. God is taking care of your future. God will never allow anything to happen to you. I speak less here upon them. Angkat tangan dan terimalah berkat Tuhan. Bapa di surga aku berdoa melepaskan berkat bagi umatmu. Kuasa Tuhan datang atas mereka. Mereka pulang dalam kesembuhan yang sempurna. Dalam pemulihan yang sempurna. Sesuatu terjadi atas mereka. Di dalam nama Yesus pulang ke kasih Tuhan dan terimalah berkat ini. Dalam nama Yesus Tuhan. Haleluya. Amen. Bapak ibu kita akan masih terus berdoa. Jadi yang mau didoakan jangan pulang. Pastor Davada sudah berkomitmen untuk berdoa bagi satu persatu malam ini. Anda tinggal di sini dan Anda akan dilayani. Tim musik tolong segera lanjutkan penyembahannya. Butuh musik untuk nubuatan dan sebagainya. Bapak Ibu silakan tinggal dan nanti akan dilayani. Gembala-gembala tinggal dan akan terus dilayani. Father, thank you. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you glory. 
Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I just commit this dear sister into thy mind.